What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. That's right guys, back to the Free to Pain account and we are going to continue challenge mode and progress through the story. I am currently sitting at 1840. It is day 17 of playtime, day 14 or 15 of recording time, uh, meaning I missed two days of recording. That's why I call it that. And we are going to complete 1840 today and unlock chapter 4 of the Inverse World, which will help me assist you guys in completing Inverse World with the highest scores possible. So those guys will be coming out as a free to play. I did mention in that first video that I don't want to use my whale account because it's just way too easy to complete it and it won't give you guys a complete picture of how to tackle those different Inverse World chapters, right? So let's get into it. 1840, Bison, Able, Decaparate, and Poison. Not a fun team to fight, I can tell you this. The good news is I believe in this one, Bison is in the back, so I have to kill out the first three and Bison will pop, making this actually a lot easier than expected. But there's a big power gap in here in, in terms of uh, strength. So I may get one shot a couple times, so bear with me. We're going to do our usual manual gameplay and try to stop people from uh, doing anything with interrupts. So let's see if we can pull that off. Poison is the one that probably yeah, Poison I figured is going to be going off here. Okay, so I lost my b -Zang already. And yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's a that's an ass whooping. Alright guys, so here's the problem with this team. Uh, when the Capra is in, as an NPC, she's really, really good because she does target the lowest HP unit all the time. And if you're not going to stop this poison from uh, getting her special off, you're going to most likely lose B Zang quickly. Right there, like that. And then you're going to most likely get one shot with your C Viper. So it's it's tough because the Capra does take out C Viper fairly quickly. So you have to get that timing right. Uh, I'm not using the freeze trick if you guys don't know what that is, check out Pika's video, uh, which is essentially using EX move when someone does a special, uh, and that will stun them, and they will no longer be using their EX move after that. I'm trying to avoid doing any of those tactics because I want to do this OG style, um, but as you can see here, by doing it OG style, it causes a lot of problems because these teams are much stronger now, and they're going to be hitting you a lot harder, so you've got to get that timing right or else it's good game for you. And see, and the difference right now is also, the see Viper is I'm hitting them so far back that I'm actually not able to uh, reach them after that. And they have, <laughs> but, see Bison popping in, just completely destroys my team after that. So I have to get this right. So now here's the problem. If you see Viper poison, right? And she gets knocked back, it puts her too far back. So you need her to come a little closer. If she doesn't, you're SOL. Like that. See? Takes up the whole team. Look at that. Look at the ugly mug on this guy. Okay. Let's try this again. So you can see here, guys, I'm struggling now. I'm starting to struggle a little bit because of the power gap difference. There we go. That was a good intro. Oh, no, it wasn't. She still got proof. How did that happen? Ah, oh, brutal. Brutal. That was a little better though. I gotta kill Poison off. She's literally like annihilating my entire team. Like, so essentially, first round, B Zang's gotta stay alive. Second round, C Viper's gotta stay alive. Uh, B Zang can go at that point. He's just the first, the first, first round, he's gotta, he's gotta stay up. I gotta heal off. Okay, get her in. Absorb all that. With this. B Zang. There we go. There we go, guys. Alright, so that was a lot quicker that time around. Um, so that's how it's done. Had a few bad attempts, clearly, but we got it done in four minutes. About four minutes. That moves us past 1840. We'll get to a couple summons here. Get some more. Uh, oh, nice. I got, got red gear now. So let's put that on her. See if ever gets all the good stuff, man. There we go. Perfect. Get this leveled up a little bit. As far as we can without using that last piece right there. And I want to put that on can. So Cammy will get this piece. There we go. I'll boost her damage a little bit. Okay. Give this to Call Sim. Just move some gear around here, guys, and we're good. Okay, we're rolling. Next chapter. 19. Okay, now we're gonna get some more items here. So new, we get the strengthening tokens now, and more uh, workshop tokens and more of the origin tokens, okay? And the Patriot. That's a new chapter. So there you go, guys. Free to play setup. Uh, we got a little bit more mastery from finishing that, so let's see what we got. Hopefully enough to get... No, not... I think I need one more to get that 250, but I think this is gonna... Oh, 17 days. It's enough time to get another chapter done or so. Um, let's see here now. Steps of Honor, because I made that, we're gonna get this little bonus here. 
2040 is next. As you guys can see, some some of the whales have already completed it all. Uh, Supreme Fist, I could get to 250 most likely. Get this out of the way, 300. I'll be pushing that with this at this level, but I probably can do it if I'm just timing things correctly. Uh, so there you have it. Let's go ahead and do a summon. Root. What do we have here? Lightning. Hmm. You need Elena to get maxed out, but I'm more searching for Zang at the moment just so I can make him less squishy. And a Gaia would be nice, or a Kami. Like those are, those are. I have three three major units here that I'm looking for. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Still good though, I need food. I need a lot of food actually still to get the SS, so the double SS to uh, SS plus, so it's not that bad. Another Cody. Okay, a couple Cody's on Rufus. Okay, I mean, nothing nothing good, nothing really major there. Um, I will start taking away some of these units now, by the way. Uh, some of these reds, for example, because I've got the two that I want up. So these guys will probably get replaced by A units now. Uh, to get those guys up a little more, but I still need to get Dalsim um, SS Plus first before I do that. So I'm almost done. Actually, no, wait, does he already SS Plus? No, yeah, I do need one more SS Plus for him. So that'll complete that, and then I can move on and do just regular uh, summons. So let's, for the sake of it, should do a standard recruit summon here. And then I'm gonna just do a. Uh, actually, no, I don't have enough for a div. I was gonna say I'll do a div, but I don't have enough for it. Uh, there's red, so that's good. I get hit. Okay. It's okay. We're just talking about how I need to finish that, so that's not that bad. So let's go back to Awakening. The dojo here probably can unlock something else now. Yeah. Oh. Gives us more money. Let's do it. Okay. And then Awakening. Take Awaken. Awaken, Cody, and Rufus. Okay, let's go back to Wind for a sec. So who do I have here? I have a Cody that I can definitely use. So do that right now. I get to me an A plus Cody. Go. Okay, so now I have one, two Cody's. Now here's what I want to do actually. Guile needs one more to finish that up. B Zang also needs an A plus. So I'm gonna probably get B Zang up to unlock his uh, FS. And then from there, I'll start working on getting him up. Now I also want to get Street Fighter uh, Street Poison up as well. She's right here. Um, but I also do need to get a few more A units here. So I'm not feeding any of my A's, just so you guys know, I'm just being patient about it, okay? All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's 1840 done. Um, a little bit of a struggle, as you guys saw, but at the end of the day, we got it done. Moved on to 19. 